In this video, I'm going to show you how your browser app preview works and also how to get the app onto your device for testing and how to submit it to the app stores. So when you first create your app, you're going to have a preview built for you. It does take a few minutes. When it's finished, you'll see something like this. And this is a browser preview. It is your actual app. It is not just a mock-up or anything like that. So you can click around and see how your app is going to look on a device. The only thing that doesn't work in these is the device features such as push notifications, camera, native media player, and things like that. But you can still click around and see how everything's going to look. Once you get your app looking how you want it, then you can build for a device. There are a couple of times when you need to actually rebuild your app preview. And if you go to the build and preview tab, you'll see this blue rebuild preview button here. Now, the times when you need to rebuild that would be if you added a custom HTML page, which is embedded on the device, or if there are any updates to the app code and you wanted to get those into your app. So besides that, you don't need to rebuild the preview. If you're just using the page builder, the pages will show up automatically without a rebuild, changing colors or menus, things like that. Those things all show up automatically. If you're having any problems seeing your changes, um, refresh your browser and then that should show the, make those show up. Now when you're ready to test for a device, uh, actually before I show you that, let me show you one other thing. There are a few buttons down here at the bottom left and these help you adjust the preview so you can get in a better idea of how everything's gonna look. So for example, if I press this expand icon, then it will expand to a tablet view or a responsive view to where you can actually move things around and see how your app is going to behave on different sized devices. Like for example, this is the tablet view where the menu is open um, to support the larger screen. And then you can also go back to the uh, device icon by clicking that. And if you click that one more time, it's gonna switch to a different type of device so you can get an idea how it's gonna look on an Android device. And then if you click on the share icon, you'll have a link. You can copy this link and paste it into an email to someone who wants to see a browser preview of the app but doesn't have access to my app, myappers.com. Now when you're ready to build for a device, you're gonna to go to the Build and Preview tab, click on the Device Testing and App Stores link, and then you can choose a device build here. So you should have had an Android build when you first logged into your app, and you should have gotten an email with a download link for that. You can click the link on an Android device and download it to uh, that device. For the other builds, such as iOS and app stores, we do need to set those up for you. And then once you have those, you can choose them and build for them. Now keep in mind that for iOS devices, you do need to have a provisioned iOS device to download the app. Uh, you can only test it on a provisioned iOS device, which means that you add the device UDID to your developer account before we create the certificates. And then um, if you need to add more devices, the certificates do need to be regenerated. Uh, it's kind of a pain but just keep in mind that you cannot download the app to any iOS device. It has to be one on your account. And if you need help with that, shoot us an email. Um, once we set up your app store builds, you will be able to choose those here, such as submit to iOS app store, and then you can click build. Um, for any of these builds, it does take about 15 to 20 minutes. You will be emailed a link or a notification if your app was uploaded to the app store. So for the iOS app store, your app does get uploaded, the uh, actual app package to the app store, and then you need to go to App Store Connect, log in, and submit that build for review. For uh, Android or, or Google Play, your app is uploaded to the Google Play Store, and the first time that you do this, you do need to manually upload the very first build. It's just a limitation of the Play Store, but then after that, if, you have, uh, if we have all set it up properly, um, we'll, we'll discuss with you how we do that, then the builds will be uploaded automatically for future releases. Once you do that, then you should be able to build for devices, download test on the app, and then submit to the app stores. The publish changes button is going to send changes to the live apps that are on a device or on the app stores. So for example, let's say you're playing with colors here in the app and you change it to green and then you want to uh, send that to the actual apps on the app stores and not just for apps in the browser preview, you would go to, well first let's save that. So now my app is green. It's not gonna be green for devices that are testing or for apps on the app store. 
until I press publish changes. And then after that, the apps that are live on the App Store, once they close and reopen, then the app will then be green. And the same goes for if you're adding pages or changing things in the menu. You use the same process there.